What actions can churches take to properly address racism within the walls of our own church? Or not even the walls, because a church doesn't have walls. A church is the, are the people of God. Right. But yeah. just my church or your church, what can we do within the own context of your, the local church to address racism? It's, it's, it starts really from the top. And, and that's why I'm honored to be here, excited about what you're doing um, uh, for your congregation. Uh, and we're gonna do the same things for our congregation as well. Uh, but w w we think that it has to come from the top. And so if the leader believes that Jesus died for all, mm -hmm. then the leaders for the leader believe that Jesus died for all. And those who serve the leaders in the church believe that Jesus died for all. And so our message has to be clear, even uh, f from the congregations in which we lead, um, uh, and, and as well as yours. Uh, and so the way that we incorporate that is leadership. I think throughout our community, um, there are churches that do have diverse backgrounds within the congregations, but I think what lacks sometimes is the leadership. Um, and so uh, we'll welcome people in uh, on both sides to come and listen to us and to be a part of our church, but we don't open it up for them to lead and hold um, significant leadership spaces in our church. What else would y'all recommend? I think being intentional is, yeah. is key. Um, sometimes we just go about with what, what we have and you know what's, what's normal in our congregations and uh, it causes us to always uh you know cycle through with the same whatever it has been continues to be mm -hmm. <clears throat> but being intentional about developing relationships church ministry what however you want to name it it all boils down to relationships true. and um i think uh, i concur that a scenario such as today what we're doing it speaks of the fact that someone wants to conversate about it and develop but even the conversations that we're having is based upon relationships yeah. because yeah. we have a relationship with you. Yeah. That's right. So I think being intentional about moving forward, not forcing it upon, but showing or shedding light on the fact that it is important. It is the heart of God. And to be intentional about bringing people into a, a sense of being comfortable yeah. with it is, is key. Yeah. Yeah. Conversations. You know, um, Carlos mentioned earlier, you know, we'll bring people in to listen to us. Well, where do we spend the time listening to them? Right. You, you have to get to know someone's story. Stories are so important in, in, in these kind of conversations and in, in tearing down these walls. You know, if, if I never, if you never sit down and you hear my story, you know, it's just, again, a one-way one conversation. Mm -hmm. and, and we start right where we are because I think, I think in 2018, you know, we have someone in our lives that is, you know, they are a different color. Mm -hmm. Just take that opportunity right there. Yeah. That's a great point. So take a casual acquaintance and start to develop more of a conversation that maybe will become more of a relationship than just a casual acquaintance with somebody who doesn't look like right. you. Yeah. And, it, and it doesn't have to, I would even say, it probably shouldn't happen in the church. It needs to happen maybe in our house. Mm. Agreed. In your backyard, at in the barbecue, backyard. or at the dinner yeah, table. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because if we're not having it out there, you know, we just, you know, it's not likely going to happen. All anymore. right. All right. <laughs> Great point. Great point. Mm -hmm. Yeah.